baseball star. He's just another all-star. He shoots fast, deals decent damage, and has high health. Don't forget about those pesky abilities either. Me and many others assume that Baseball Star is just another basic all-star with his primary weapon shooting his variant based projectile, his being baseballs. For a while, Baseball Star was my favorite all-star and the one I consider to be the best, but today, I've decided that I want to find out whether or not he is just another all-star or if he's something special that many don't know about. You see, a lot of people including myself compare Baseball Star to Golf Star and sometimes even Tennis Star, but for today, I'm going to go through the statistics of Baseball Star and and compare him to every other all-star. Today I'm going to answer a question that I've had but never cared to answer. Is Baseball Star any different? First, let's talk about Baseball Star and who he is as a character. Baseball Star is a rare variant in the all-star class. He's also a character obviously resembling a baseball player, more accurately the catcher. He was first introduced in Garden Warfare 1 with a similar design and very similar playstyle with him shooting fast and dealing a lot of damage. In the sticker book, it is known that he was almost in the ZLB Hall of Fame, but got kicked out of the league for eating the brains ball. So it's safe to say, no matter how good Baseball Star might be after this comparison, he's still pretty stupid. With you now knowing who Baseball Star is, let's get into the analysis. So starting off is going to be the weapon firing category. This category shows the damage each all-star deals and their overall DPS. Right from the start, we can see that Baseball Star is only beaten by one all-star in DPS, that being base all-star. He is, however, beaten in max sustainable DPS, meaning that over time, his overall damage per second is slowly beaten out by every all-star that beats him in this section. His damage per shot is beaten by four all-stars, those being base, rugby, wrestling, and tennis. He ties with one, that being cricket, and beats goalie, hockey, golf, and motocross. In the effective rate of fire section, he only gets beat by two all-stars, those being hockey and golf star, the two highest shooting all-stars. His follow-up damage start is beaten by two all-stars, and he beats two all-stars but ties with the rest. Since all-stars aren't meant for long range, I'm going to skip over the fall-off start and the fall-off end. For projectile speed, we can see that his projectile is relatively slow compared to some other all-stars, which doesn't really matter to an incredible amount, but it definitely could affect gameplay and overall performance of some players, so it's good to mention. I think that's going to be it for the weapon firing category, so let's move on to the next one, the overheating category. Overheating, the all-stars version of ammo and reload. The cool thing about the all-star class is that none of them have ammo, but instead have an overheating penalty which has its ups and its downs. But for now, let's focus on what all-stars have better overheating stats. For an odd reason, it shows that the all-stars with longer overheating times beat the all-stars with shorter overheating times, so listen very closely. There are 7 sections in this category, but I will skip over the first two since I don't fully understand them, and they don't mean that much but I will skip over the first two since I don't fully understand them. The overheat time section shows Baseball Star's weakness. He is the fastest all-star to overheat when shooting, but as seen as the cooldown duration section, the fastest to recover from. This section is pretty confusing, but since I am literally here to make this entire chart not confusing, I will explain it. However, even I don't know what this means, so I asked my friend LT Dark Rank to explain it since I couldn't understand it, so here is what he said. Heat-based weapons start at zero, and gain heat for every shot fired. When they reach one, the game classifies the weapon as having overheated. The penalty duration is how long it stays at one before it starts going back down to zero. If you are still confused, basically, if I overheat as Baseball Star, it would take 0.75 seconds to start going down. So Baseball Star beats every other All-Star in the section by a lot. Thank you LT Dark Ring for explaining that to me since even I was confused, and if I didn't know what it meant, then I couldn't have it explained it in this video. In the last section in this category, the Damage Overheat section, it looks like Baseball Star loses to every other All-Star, but that isn't the case. Remember how I said Baseball Star overheats the fastest but recovers from it the fastest? Yeah, well, this means that since Baseball Star recovers from his overheating so fast, this actually means that he can output more damage than almost all of the All-Stars that beat him in this section. Take Goalie Star as an example. He beats Baseball Star in this section, right? We can see that the damage slash overheat divided by the overheat time equals the total DPS of that character. So even though every All-Star beats Baseball Star in the section, only one of them truly does. The only All-Star who beats him in DPS. Base All-Star. So I will take this as Baseball Star coming in second place for this section. So with all of this information, saying as Baseball Star has the second highest DPS in the All-Star class, having the fastest time to overheat but also having the fastest time to regain from that overheat, I can confidently say that Baseball Star is probably third or fourth best All-Star. His overall firing speed is really good, his direct damage is good, and overall he is just a decent character. The fact that he is actually a lot different from Golf Star and Hockey Star is really surprising to me because I always thought that Baseball was a carbon copy of Golf Star with a faster overheating time. There are a lot of other All-Stars that are worse than him, but then again, there are just a few that are better than him, which doesn't make him bad at all, it just put him where I thought he would be. 
The All-Star class, in my opinion, is one of the strongest classes no matter what, because at the end of the day, Impunt exists. Oh. <coughs> Me and many others assume that Baseball Star is... Me and many others assume that Baseball Star is just another basic All-Star with his primary shooting his... You see, a lot of people, including myself, compare Baseball Star to Golf Star and sometimes even Tennis Star. But for today, I'm going to... I'm going through... I'm going through this... I'm going through this... I'm going through this... I'm going to go through the statistics of Baseball Star and compare him to every other All-Star... I'm going to go through the statistics of Baseball Star and compare him to every other All-Star. He is also a character obviously... He is also obviously... Re he was first introduced in Garden Warfare 1 with a similar den- Alright, let's make all this- on, this bigger. Since all stars aren't meant for long range, I'm going to skip over the fall off start and the fall off. For projectile speed, we can see that his shoot- For- For projectile speed, we can see that his projectile is relatively slow compared to some other all stars, which doesn't matter. For an odd reason, it shows that the all stars with a- l So baseball stars beats every other all star. Remember how I said- Remember how I said baseball star overheats the- 